What's up, guys? I find it absolutely necessary to go over these Season 4 Reloaded patch notes because there's going to be a lot of false hype going around about these guns being super overpowered. Now, there was several buffs that went out today, and there is two nerfs. They even touched the C4. But before we get into that, let's talk about what they've done to the map. So they blew up this thing right here with the bioactive stuff, and apparently there's a new mode, Mutation Resurgence, where everyone's going to be getting a little bit of superpowers. Me personally, I've seen footage. I think it's kind of cheesy. It's not for me. I'd love to know your opinion, though. And also, they're going to be bringing uh, specialists and redacted weapons. So with these redacted weapons, they're going to have eight attachments, and the specialist is going to be via bunkers, but it's also going to be reintroduced to Resurgence, which I don't ever remember it going away. Now, there's going to be a new shotgun, the Reclaimer 18. Now, this thing actually is overpowered currently. It's going to be a two-shot. And then we got the Sledgehammer, which this, I, I wouldn't even grab it personally because it's going to swing really slow. It's probably going to be like two or three hits. You're going to get absolutely beamed. Now that we're down to the weapons, as you can see here, these five all got buffs, but these buffs are very minimal, so it's not going to change the meta that much. Like this damage right here on the MCW, that might make it one bullet less to get a down. And it's the same thing right here at the Battle 27. Now the Battle 27, my personal opinion, is pretty good. I need to do a little bit more testing, but I think it's good. The MTC 762 they upped the maximum damage range. Now, this could be viable if you're using it for short range. Is it going to throw in the meta? Absolutely not. The same with the FJX Striker and Rival 9. These are minimal buffs. None of these are actually going to make it any more meta than it possibly was before. The same with all these LMGs right here. They're mainly damage range in a one bullet, one bullet. It's not going to make a significant difference, especially when you take into the fact how slow these bullets are coming out one after another. Now, I'm not sure why they touched the Lockwood here, but I personally would have left it alone. So they increased the fire speed from 100 milliseconds up from 35 milliseconds. So that's actually a major nerf. Now, Car 98 is going to be the big piece of conversation. So essentially what they done was they decreased the bullet velocity, which means you're going to have to aim a little bit more ahead. And they also took away some aim assist on our controller players. Unfortunately, that's me. Now, this is the one I disagree with. Maximum damage range decreased from 55 meters down to 65. If you're playing this in Resurgence, you already know. Let's take, for instance, on top of prison. You already can't cover the entire prison. So, me personally, I would have given this thing a buff to begin with. Our previous Car 98, the good one, was pretty much one shot at any distance. So, I do not agree with this. I also don't agree with the C4 nerf. Kind of sad for that because recently I've been using C4 a lot. Told a few people that they are a little bit overpowered. Now we're going to have to test again. So, this right here is actually a good one. So, the Mosquito Drone will no longer deal damage to the owner if it explodes near. So if you pop it up and you have someone right on your butt, you already know. You're going to get broke as well. And if they shoot you first, it's game over. So this is a good fix. There's a few fixes right here, but other than that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. Let me know your opinion on these patch notes in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.